you're playing the wrong operators on defense. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you the correct roamers to play, giving you a top five list to break this down for you. With that out of the way, sub the channel down below and let's get into the video. Coming in on number five spot, my surprise, some of you, and is actually Caviera. Now, Caviera has seen a surprising jump in win rate if you look at the actual win deltas for Rainbow Six Siege right now. And there is a reason for that. One, most people aren't actually expecting you to play Caviera, much less in a high elo, which is what these statistics are actually provided for. Also, because of the oversaturation of EMP grenades right now, a lot of people forget get to bring flank watch operators which makes cav excel because cav is great at flanking people that is kind of her main job you just sit around you get droned out then you leave and then you flank the people that droned you out it's a pretty simple play style if you pair that up with her shotgun so that you can make yourself rotate and impact grenades to finish off kills too scary for you to interrogate this can be a deadly operator that can be played overall i think cav definitely has a place on certain maps against certain teams that maybe aren't roam clearing maybe you have jackal and dokubi banned it doesn't really matter but there is a time and a place that you can play cav and for that reason she is in the number five spot despite how maybe most people think of her as a bad operator coming into number four spot is going to be alibi now alibi is actually a pretty good operator even though they took away her 1.5 time scope and her shield because her play style didn't change at all not having a 1.5 time scope does suck but gunfights are pretty much still the exact same and as alibi you probably weren't playing off of your deployable shield anyways because you were roaming so that doesn't actually change her play style much either making her still a pretty good roamer pair that up with the observation blockers and you can hide her alibi clones behind the observation blockers and you can swing off of the information information they provide, giving you a deadly combo that you can play around with. She also has a bailiff if you want to make rotates for yourself like I talked about using Cav's shotgun for, but also for sight setup or anything else you would need a bailiff for. Overall, Alibi's SMG is very good, and her playstyle is something that has a pretty high skill ceiling in terms of what you can do with her clones and her observation blockers in the combination of the two, and that is why I think Alibi is still a good roamer. Is she the best? Is she what she once was? No, but she's still an outstanding roamer, and that is why she is in my top five. Coming into my number three spot by zero surprise is Mozzie. Now, if you've been playing Mozzie, you know that he has very high potential with his gadget, especially with Brava on the board. Not even talking about his primary ability, let's just go over everything else he brings to the table. First of all, he has a two speed, two health, which is pretty good for roaming, but not the best. He has a P10 running with a 1.5 time scope. This has very little recoil, very low ammo though, but a 1.5 time scope to balance it all out. Overall, a great weapon, especially if you're an existing player, which is why I definitely recommend you play Mozzie. He also has a Again, those mozzie pests that i want to bring up now that allow you to not be able to get droned which can further slow down the attacking rush which is what roamers are meant to do slow down the attack rush not necessarily get kills mozzie is great at information denial therefore making people have to roam clear you and take more amount of time to roam clear you and that is why i think mozzie is a great operator especially for the roam mozzie is able to also take over enemy drones so that the enemies drone you you know how their drones and you can drone them out making you able to flank operators or get more aggressive and advantageous gunfights for yourself but also he can hack brava and twitch drones or Flores drones, making it to where you can use Brava and Twitch drones or just destroyed Flores drones so that you can use the abilities that the attackers provide. There is a huge skill ceiling when it comes to Brava. You can hack attacker claymores and then run out on people. You can hack enemy gadgets and then kill them with it. Overall, the skill ceiling with Mozzie is pretty good, and I think he is very good the better you are at the game, and that is why he comes in my number three spot on this top five roamer list for Operation Dread Factor. Coming into my number two spot is Thorn. Without zero surprise, Thorn has made it on this list because she now has a 1.5 time scope on her primary SMG. If that gun wasn't already great enough and hit like a truck, now it has a 1.5 time scope allowing you to be a lot more aggressive and have easier gunfights. She also has a pretty okay ability with a deployable shield, meaning that her utility side is also still pretty good. Something about good roamers on this list is the more utility you bring along with the ability to have good gunfights, the higher you will be on this list, Cav being in the bottom and Thorn being at the top to prove this example to you. Thorn overall is very flexible in her playstyle, just like Warden. She is able to roam, she's able to anchor, she's able to play with her traps and utility and her deployable shield, or she's able to play with her UZK 1.5 time scope and roam the map. Either way, she is a very versatile roamer. If you have good aim, she's going to be really good. If you like using utility, she's going to be very good, and she has a high skill ceiling with her gadgets that you can swing off of or use to get kills paired up with Barbar and Malusi Banshees to get good kills. Overall, the 1.5 time scope on her gun is enough to bump her up at least two spots on this list and make her a roamer, although she was considered a flex op before, and that is why she is in the top five of this list, but not only that, she is in the top two. To be completely honest, the 1.5 time scope is the only reason that she's on this list at all, because now people are playing her more aggressively and as a roamer, when in comparison, they weren't playing her as a roamer at all. They were just playing her as an anchor or a flex operator because her gun just didn't have the 1.5 time scope. If you take a look at Warden, this has also been the case. People started playing Warden a lot when they gave him the 1.5 time scope, they started roaming with him, they started spawn picking with him, when they were just anchoring with him before he had the 1.5 time scope, and before people found out the 1.5 time scope was super 
super, super powerful. So if that's not enough reason to have Thorn as a roamer, much less a top five roamer, then I don't really know what is. Now, before I get into my number one best roamer in Operation Dread Factor for Rainbow Six Siege right now, I'm going to go over two honorable mentions that you might have wanted to see in the top five, but didn't quite make the cut. The first one being Vigil. I think Vigil is still a good roamer, but they ended up actually nerfing him this season for whatever reason Ubisoft has. In my opinion, they tweaked his gadget a little bit to fit the attacking operator that's about to come out, but we all have our theories. They made it to where you get initially pinged by Lion Scans or Grimbies instead of just being completely immune. Immune. You can still activate your ability to get the immunity, kind of like Cav does with her footsteps to Jackal, but it is a bit of a slight nerf. They updated the glitching reasons for his gadget as well, so you won't actually get out of the gadget whenever you're shooting, and you won't get out of the gadget when you reinforce. Your gadget will still be active, which is actually kind of a buff, but that's more of a quality of life thing than it is actually a gameplay change that needed to happen. Vigil is a 3-speed, and he has the ability to not get droned. Do you know who else has the ability to not get droned? Mozzie, and Mozzie brings a 1.5 time scope and has a way higher skill ceiling with his gadget because he's able to get information and deny information all in one operator. Vigil by far is just a worse version of Mozzie, and he doesn't really have much in his operator that other operators don't have, just because his ability is so simplistic and so lackluster. That's why he didn't make it in the top five, but he's still by far a pretty okay roamer if you want to solo queue and rank to maybe get some kills, but nobody really is droning anymore because of the running gun matter where they're in, so nobody's really using Vigil's utility, meaning that his utility is not good, meaning he, as an operator and as a roamer, is not good, and that is why he's not in the top five, but still in the honorable mentions list. My second honorable mention is actually going to be Ella. Now, Ella is an okay operator. I wish her ability was a tad bit better. Her ability really relies on people playing off of it very heavily, and I don't think it really needs to be that way. Now, her guns are outstanding. She brings a deployable shield, but that's pretty much all she has going for her because, again, her ability is not very good. There's a time and place to use her shotgun. There's a time and place to use her ability, but if you want to do anything else with her, you can just use a different operator that brings more utility with a 1.5 times scope that is easier to get frags with than Ella is. Overall, Ella is pretty lackluster, but she does go out with a bang if you know how to use her, and that's why at least I put her in the honorable mentions list, but she's nowhere near the other people in the top five that I have on this list right now. Now, I know a lot of people might be comparing the people in my top five or in my honorable mentions list to Caviar and being like, you put this person on honorable mentions, but you didn't put Cav there? Well, again, the win rates, people aren't droning, people aren't playing flank operators anymore, it's statistically proven that they aren't, so Cav naturally is just better in this elo. And I got these stats from Emerald and above PC elo, I didn't get this from Cop. I didn't get this from console. So the stats actually do mean something. And that's why I put Cap in the top five. And that's why I put Ella in the honorable mentions spot. Now, going into my number one roamer for Operation Dread Factor, Rainbow Six Siege right now should be zero surprise if you've been playing this game for a while, and that would be Solus. Solus is a great operator right now. She has the ability to deny every single electronic in the entire game, just like IQ, but she's also able to get information for her teammates because she can ping and scan information whenever she is used. I'll take you to this border example that I have on screen. I was able to get a bunch of drones in the prep phase, meaning essentially that they don't get to have a prep phase because I just killed all of their drones before they even got into the building. And then I was also able to call up drones to my teammates so that they could go in CC and kill that one drone that I just put on screen. Not only this, but I'm able to see if people are on their drones so I can kill them through the floor like I did this guy whenever they're trying to drone. I can see if they have a Dokebi by seeing the dead phones on my dead teammates. I can also see any utility being used like ace charges, thermites, thatchers, whatever it may be to know where they're pushing. I can also counter IQ. I can counter knock because I can see both of their abilities. So Solus is able to see every single electronic ability in the entire game. She also thrives on very big Big maps because if they have cameras hidden in the lobby of bank, they have zero cameras hidden in the lobby of bank where you are unable to find them unless you have Solus. Solus can easily find these in the prep phase and the action phase and shoot them, denying most of the attacker information while also being an effective roamer in the process. She not only has that, but impact grenades to help her on the roam and an SMG 11 to back up the fact that her primary gun isn't all that good. The P90 has its core values with its low recoil and its high ammo count, but its damage is not all that good and its fire rate could be better. She has a two speed, two health, so not the best when it comes to roaming in terms of speed, but she makes up for it in pure utility. If you don't want to run her lackluster P90 like I just talked about though, she also has a shotgun that is pretty okay, especially if you want to make rotates and maybe bring a BP instead of impacts. Overall, I think Solus is a great sleeper pick. Everybody in Pro League is picking her for a reason. She has a high ban rate for a reason and I win with her all the time for a reason. Solus is just an outstanding operator right now and that's why I put her in the number one roamer spot for every single roamer in Operation Dread Factor for Rainbow Six Siege right now. With that out of the way, that is it for the entire video. Sub the channel down below if you want to get better at the game. Join my Discord if you want free coaching. Follow me on TikTok if you want to see more tips and tricks, camera angle spots, and whatnot. Like the video if you liked it. My name is Alec, and I'll see you on the next video. Later.